Testing my 50 watt solar blanket, seeing if it can keep up with my ever cool 50 litre fridge. Charging the Waco Wraps 44. Sitting on 12.5 amp, the fridge will be drawing a fair bit now because it's just started up, trying to get down the temperature. Just sitting up on the roof like that, not angled any special way particular, just getting as much sun as I can within that position. It's about maybe 10.30, getting consistently over 2 amp. Alright, angled like this. It's not a perfect angle, but I'm more of an angle towards the sun. It's just jumped up a little bit. Getting yeah, up to 2.3 amp, 30 watt. It's the Waco Wraps 44 amp hour AGM battery hooked onto the terminals just seeing if this will keep up with a 50 litre fridge this small panel putting out a couple of amps plus the best ampage I've had out of it is around midday laying flat in the ground as it's getting the direct sun on the right angle at the right time I found they work pretty good if you just get them flat flat on the ground you can muck around trying to angle them a bit more and the difference isn't massive for example if this fridge is averaging one amp hour over 24 hours this panel can probably keep up with it we'll see how I go today if the battery's gonna charge the compressor will click on and off as needed to maintain the temperature and the wraps 44 battery will take in more charge then as the fridge is not drawing it's max power to get it down to temperature. I think it draws around 5 amp when I hooked it up to the watt meter at its max. Like to get itself to start at about 25 degrees and get itself down to around 0 degrees. It's at 9 degrees now. This fridge gets down to temperature pretty quick. I believe this 50 watt panel will keep up with my fridge and the Raps 44 battery. As the Raps 44 will keep up with the fridge overnight, no problems. As long as you're getting some decent sunlight through the day, even a small 50 watt panel like this should keep up to a fridge as long as you're getting good sunlight. The battery I got is only 44 amp hour. Uh, I've tested it overnight, it barely, once it was down to temperature, before, like through the day using the solar. I've used it in the night, it was pretty cool at night, it barely used any power. However, it is heating up a lot more now, this time of year, and it is getting hotter, so I'll be able to do some more tests and see how much of a difference it's going to make and how much it will draw from that small battery overnight before I can put more power into it the next day. I've got some larger solar panels 
and I'm getting another larger solar blanket to test as well. But I believe this 50 watt small panel here could keep up with a fridge, an efficient fridge in fridge mode and keep me battery topped up at the same time. The fridge is drawing at full power, probably around 5 amp as it tries to reach temperature. And then I imagine once the compressor kicks off and it just maintains that temperature, this battery will start taking charge, not losing it. As the amp hour average, I assume will be less than 2 amp hour and this panel's generating at least 2 amp hour on average this small 50 watt panel which is really realistically putting out around 30 to 35 watt and around up to 3 amp max but you're easily getting 2 amp most of the time alright the fridge is down to 1 degree already as I said before, it does get down the temperature pretty quick, this fridge. You've got the Dan Foss compressor. Pretty well insulated, the car's sitting in the sun. It is a bit warm out here. Maybe around 28 to 30 degrees today. I'm just using this Polaroid controller that come with the solar panel I do have another solar controller I think it's a, a little bit more efficient but there's not much difference all right I come back to check the battery voltage it's been running for a couple of hours yeah see the green light come on it's full 13 volts the fridge is at one to two degrees Sitting in the hot car, out in the sun. The battery's fully charged and the fridge is sitting at one to two degree. It's midday now. The solar panels are generating around up to 2.4 amps, 32 watt. The battery's reading 13 volts after two hours since I plugged the fridge in. The fridge is maintaining a one to two degree Celsius. So this 50 watt solar panel is keeping up to the fridge currently set at, I've got it set at zero degrees, which keeps it yeah, at one to two degrees. Nice and cold. If you got drinks or whatever food inside. I can try putting these panels flat again to see if there's any difference. All right, I'll just set the panels like this on the roof. It's midday at the moment. They're not completely flat. The two ends are angled. So it doesn't sit across it flat. I'm getting you know, up to three point two point three amp. Like the fridge is set to zero degrees. It's currently on one to two degrees. I cannot hear the compressor running right now, but it's still plugged in, drawing power ready to start up. The battery will probably take more charge. It's reading full. It reads full at 12.8 or better, I believe. But it will go over 13 volts before it stops taking any amps.
So this small, after this short test, this small 50 watt foldable solar panel, putting out over two amps consistently, hooked up to a RAPS 44 battery for the included solar controller is keeping up with a 50 litre Travelmate Evercool fridge. Pretty happy with that.